You are watching TVC News at 10. One of the measures adopted to check further spread of COVID-19 in Nigeria is the ban on interstate movement. But since then, it has not abated. Commuters at the Lagos Ogo borders are asking the government to come up with a more strategic way of enforcing the ban. Lagos, the commercial NEP center, remains the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic in Nigeria. It is also challenged with managing an imploding population that is growing daily, a threat to its fight against COVID-19. Despite the ban on interstate travel, the state has continued to witness an influx of people, a war in sight, as there were no temperature checks or security checks at the various borders. The governor at his last briefing entered on a possibility of another lockdown should the residents fail to adhere to the public health guidelines. Apart from the sea and airports, Lagos has at least five entry and exit points and security officers now have the task of ensuring only persons on essential duty allowed into the city. But the situation comes with different tales. At Mojoda, a border town between Lagos and Okun State in Eredo Local Council in Ekpe, commercial vehicles ply through the alternative route. Ignoring the banned border, many have gained access to Lagos State through this route in the presence of the security agents. The Korodushagama Road had its own road blocks mounted with a surveillance team of armed policemen from the Korodushagama Division. The road which shares boundary with Lagos and Ogun State is known to be an industrial road. Although arrests were made and beckers were told to go back to their various states, TVC News crew observed many were seen trying to access the state via foot. Where the bad guy are going, Ogun and the Lagos State? Can we show me? What somebody don't know? I don't know. I think you understand me. I bid house in that place. I think you understand me. I don't know. Show me that place. Are you you're not guilty of... The, the only thing will me. Excuse me. You, you, you only way me beat me. You arrest me. I don't tell you that I'm not follow you. I don't run. You starting to slap me. Before this, your guy said, no, don't slap him. At one of the busiest entry points after Berger, security officers were seen turning back vehicles not on essential duty. It is an unusual and unpleasant experience for commuters along the Alagbado Songwater Road and residents in Tollgate and its neighboring communities. Almost all the commuters had to continue their journey on foot as the commercial buses were turned back at the Tollgate section. Sacrifices everybody must bear. I was I have a car, but my car is 40. I'm a security manager. I'm going on a routine patrol to Iwekuru. If I stay, if I didn't see Benku, I'll go back to Lagos. This thing is very important because the rate at which this uh, pandemic is spreading, if car is not taken and our health facility in this country is not encouraging, if it's spread beyond reasonable doubt, we won't be able to contain it. I think it's a welcome idea. I buy markets. There is no bus for me to buy the market. When I go to Lagos now, Ileko, to buy the market, from Lagos now, look at the traffic. From Kola now, before I came back now, it will be around 12 o'clock on midnight. So we want to please Buari, he should do the right thing for us. There are projections that Lagos will have 120,000 cases of coronavirus by July, a rather frightening figure at a critical time when people are torn between hunger and their health. Although residents and commuters in Ogun State are looking forward to Wednesday, another day of ease as promised by the Ogun State government, commuters along the Alagba Do Songwater Road may also face uncertainties on Wednesday as the ban on interstate travel is still in force. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News at the Lagos Ogun border.